you know <laughs> it's classic every single time we do these videos on a Wednesday now because we could bang through a whole bunch of videos in one shot we close the doors I don't have any interruptions I turn the phone do this do that turn every focus on videos we put a little nice little thing up you know closed you know we put a little barricade up they have to come over it's called the barricade buster well you just witnessed a barricade a buster uh, and their opening line is always the same exact thing as they come around the corner to the bike man oh hey bike man yeah hi I know you're closed but <laughs> it's not a joke folks <laughs> it is not a joke True. all right so we were at this pad we got that sandwiched in between here now is when it comes to the important part you might want to come I don't know, down into this shoot it in like yeah I guess so that'll be pretty good because I want to demonstrate this Tell, this and then it can also go up and down like this so you got to kind of play with it a little bit to find it's you know totally 100% rotational action you know what I mean you getting all of that Summer? yes okay I'm gonna I'm gonna make my uh, cable in a little bit closer so that way we can get more get it more dialed in to where we want it on the actual rim itself I don't want to come in super tight that I'm actually touching but come in pretty close all right that takes care of that now I can do whatever I want to do and I'm using my tool to dial it into wherever I want to dial it into okay now next this is kind of important brake squeak front brake squeak front brake squeak because the pad is hitting too flush with the rim you want to do it tow it you want to tow it in like this so that the back let me just get my pointer I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you're getting dizzy on this or if you're really tight in there. You're right, you're back in. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want this edge here to hit first, not the back edge. So you want it on an angle a little bit. The reason being that the wheel spins this way and you want the trailing edge to hit first, not the leading edge. If you tilt it the other way, the front edge is going to catch and it's going to start to clatter and chatter. And that's what happens. That's how the squeak happens. That's basically the squeak, 85 million times magnitude and 350,000 times speeded up. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So there you have it to there to there. And then now you're just going to kind of give that a little tighten them up. I'm using my Bike Smart Why Not Wrench. This is a nice shop tool as well as a professional tool. I'm going to tune it into there. This, I'm going to get it just a little bit tilted in. That doesn't look too bad. Test it. Okay, I'm a little low. I just want to come up just a hair. I'm just going to loosen the whole thing up just a little bit. Game a little fractions here. Just up a little smidgeroonie. Kind of angle it in a little bit. That looks pretty good. Bink. Tight. I'll take it. Looks pretty good to me. Now time on to go to the other side. Other side is exactly the same. And then we're going to get into adjusting your cable accordingly. It's that simple. Uh, when we come back, we're going to have final check assembly and uh, final cable tension. Snip it off, finish her up, and send it on down the road with your front V-brake installation cable, blah, 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 with a barricade buster. I want you guys to never fear. I know you're closed, but... Never fear, Bike Man for You is here.